back to my youtube channel i have a very important something to drop in this video so don't be in a haste to go out but as i am making this video i would um, try to fix up my light i have been struggling with it so today i am all dressed ready to go to the market i don't have much time on my side but i just decided to like rush make this video if i don't do it this way my youtube channel will slack so I don't want that to happen. I want to be consistent. Yes, without further ado, let's get started into the, today's video. I want to talk about, on the Shannon Brass dates, things that really struck me when I came into on, on the Shannon Brass dates. Should I call it culture shock? I'll be reality shock. Okay, let us call it reality shock. About Shannon Brass dates. My name is Ngozi, if I have not said that. All right, so let's get down. So what are the things that I found most surprising when I came to Anambra State? Number one is flood accidents. Um, I come from Enugu State. I'm from Enugu State, from Nkano to be precise. So, I have never in my life before this time heard that that water, like rain water, can actually carry somebody away up to the point of death i have never heard that before but when i came to anambra states almost the first thing i heard was like was whenever it starts raining you just don't move stand at a place in fact grunt for your safety do not go close to any gota just be I just want i will keep adjusting this mountain until it is the way i want it so this these are the songs is it better hmm. it's better or it's too much so um that was the first thing i found the uh, most surprising that water can actually carry human being so i was in doubt for so long until the day i saw rain water moving a whole vehicle a whole car that was when i was like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i remember um almost the, f the time i came here i remember the, the day it was raining and everybody was just everybody moved to their safety in my head i was like okay if i stay if i stay back here it's going to get dark and i don't want that to happen i just want to get home i entered into the water started headed as i was going on the road though like on the road the water was growing it was growing it wasn't i don't need any prophet to tell me because it, this is this is it it is happening i have to run to my for my safety all right so it was most shocking to me when i got to know that actually flood can carry human being it can carry building not i don't i'm not talking about like i have not heard about flood before no what i what i'm trying to say is that i have not really like believed that water a whole city whole city that's if you don't in my mind, it, it, it was like if I enter into a river, maybe a small river where when it is raining, the small river will, will rise. Definitely, it will carry whatever it sees and go away. But my own my own uh, confusion was um, a whole city, like streets. You can be walking on your streets and be in danger when it is raining on the Shannon Brass State. So. It was shocking to me i did not believe it at first yeah now i believe it it actually happens i know a lot of people in enable states will also um find this somehow if they're coming to an ambassador i remember when i was telling somebody that came to visit me that actually rain can carry somebody okay you have to be careful of gutters when it is raining in fact sometimes it's not even about you being careful the truth is 
while it is raining you need to run to your safety just go to any place that does not have God that do not stand on 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 top of a uh, god that feeling that feeling safe that they really covered the god that it can sink i have heard situation of people standing on such thing and when the rain when the water became too much all of them sank into it so when you come to anambra states and it is raining just enter into a safe place a safe place is um any house available that is far from gutter okay do not stay near the gutter anything can happen all right so that is it that was the first thing that struck me i was surprised i was shocked that water can actually carry a human being a full-grown woman like me <laughs> hey, that's it um that is it for number states you need to be careful number two number two I came from I be I come from Enugu State where it's not that Enugu is calm, okay? I stay around the Gariki, so I know Gariki and their pickpockets. So it's something that is not too. It's not. It's something that is not done on the open. Like you'll be walking on the road now, somebody will come and come and drag your your bag, and every other person around will be watching and do nothing. No, it does not happen in Enugu State. So then, well, I don't know for now because the state of everything in Nigeria in in the country is is somehow. So, but in you know, Anishana rest states, that was when I knew that you cannot like your phone will ring now. You pick it up comfortably, watching on the walking on the streets without like without anything happening. Before now, it used to be in, um, at Opie Worker that. I was so careful about this. I was told about it that you don't answer calls anyhow at Opi Waker. It has happened before my eyes. Even in your car, before you answer call, make sure your your glasses are up. You have to before you answer call calls, okay? And on the street now, I I saw one that happened in our street recently. A lady was walking on the road. I don't even know if she was like if she was making calls maybe she was holding the phone i don't know but i just heard the sound give me that phone it was as if somebody collecting his phone back not knowing it was thieves and people would just be looking at you people and nobody would do nothing about it and also if you are driving in this onisha and you have some some of any of your valuables something that is precious to you that you kept maybe on your lap beside you on the dashboard make sure you pick it out make sure you remove it because anything can happen several times while um while driving or while in a, in a vehicle <coughs> excuse me i have had this experience of somebody boys like will be looking into your car like as if they kept something they are looking um, inside into the car to check if there is any things that you kind of misplaced inside your car or misplaced. The way these people walk, before you can close your eyes and open it, they will just grab it and, and move and nothing will happen. Sometimes they will take it and people will be watching them, especially at your worker. I know a lot of people have said a lot of things about Opi Worker, but you know that Opi Worker, Opi Worker is a place to be very careful and prayerful. If if you are walking along that um, that place in the night, you are driving at night, whether your car have AC or not, make sure it is up. The glasses are up. Once you are out of that place, you can reduce it a little bit because a lot can still happen along that away road or every any other place in Onisha but in on Opi Weka is the is the worst okay that is the second the one. third one is this one is what um I still get confused when whenever I watch it happen it has never happened to me because God made it for me that I I have my own car anytime we want to buy something huge like bag of rice you put it in the car or at least it is hidden nobody will disturb you but 
if you buy, buy a bag of rice and put inside keke, you are not safe. You will be paying for it. If you buy something in the carton and put inside keke, you will be paying for it. Aside the payment of her, aside the payments you agreed with the, the keke, the keke man, I mean the tricycle man. Aside that payment, you have a lot of payments to do on the road to have a rules that will be stopping you here and there. All right. And I still do not understand why. Do you know that when they stop you and you say, please, I don't have money, they will say, carry it on your head. If you should carry that your bag of fries on your head, seated inside keke, nobody will ask you for money. Is it not shocking to you? <laughs> ah, it is, it's, it's not funny, but that's the reality here. And the painful part of it is that nobody's doing anything to help this. Sometimes they will give us hope that they have pursued them. They will stay out from the road like two days. Sometimes as high as one week, they will come back. And uh, nothing will be done. They will continue. So that are, these are the, like, the three things that's, that, is, that was and still is most shocking to me. Coming to Onishanambra State, Nigeria. So if you find this video interesting or I have released one or two informations to you that will be helpful to you, please click on the like button, thumbs up the video, all right? Thumbs up so that a lot of eyes will see it and will be saved from, from bad, all right? So thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye. You're not my mother, though you claim to be. Don't call me fur, baby, it's really creepy. Don't you understand? We're different species. You are a human, and I'm a doggy. You're just so dum-dum.